and welcome tonight on a very special Thanksgiving episode where we got the main dishes, we got sides, we've got desserts, we've got it all. But over um, everything else, what we do have is a very, very huge appreciation of you always tuning in and listening to um, not only our show, but everything else that is is taking place on the uh, Sizzistic Penguin Studios Studios Network. Um, definitely appreciate you just interacting in, in any form, and no matter if it's out there on, on the streets or somewhere on the social media circle. Really, really appreciate it. Um, never here to think that we want to know more than somebody else. We actually want you to tell us about things that we don't know so that we can know more. That's always the thing about music and to share experiences or different cool little thises and that's and definitely, definitely having a good time doing that with you as we um, go forward. Um, right before we hit the airwaves, unfortunately, it doesn't seem that uh, in the Daryl Hall and John Oates camp that they're uh, showing much um, love. It looks like they're being a couple man eaters, literally, to one another. Um, it's it's really sad because again it's another um, indication of of old bandmates who who can't get along um, to the point where it looks like um, Daryl Hall has taken out a restraining order against John Oates. Um, very interesting to see kind of what really is in the behinds of that of why a restraining order is necessary. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, Oates, um, you know. He looks smaller than Hall, but that doesn't mean that you can't have a restraining order against somebody. I'm just shocked that. But it could also be that you're being bothered and you're being threatened, and even one threat could um, lead to that. So very, very sad news, and I hope that they're, uh, they get it together because um, we want those private eyes back, you know. But they haven't made any new music in a while. Um, I guess the relationship behind the scenes have been, has been tense, um, but definitely not spending any Thanksgivings together. Um, as always, we want to start the show with some new music. Lately, I've been going um, over and, and creating a list of just new artists that I haven't heard of. And we're at the list is over 50 something. And we're going to start just, just, just. Just, just sharing some of these with you as we 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 go along and we 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 happen to be um you know you know continue on this road and sharing things with you because we're already at episode 45 you know a little bit later we're going to share you with some some visions and maybe some new cool stuff that's going to be happening but uh for right now some newer artists right now the two artists that we have are a couple of bands the first band is agriculture okay there are uh, like a black metal band from from california okay los angeles to be a little bit more exact and bar italia is a london-based band um really kind of got some some different vibes definitely um both of them just seeing their names i wasn't familiar with them and then i looked a little bit deeper and it's cool when you look a little bit deeper because Every time a lot of these artists that we're, we're talking about, newer artists, um, you're really just wanting to see a little bit kind of of, of what do they have. And both bands, both bands were, were very, 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 um, were awesome. Um, first off, though, was uh, let's, let's take a listen here. All right, that's a little bit uh, of that agriculture, that, that black metal, and definitely cool to to hear that. Um, you get a little bit more if you, you hear the full track, of course. But uh, looking at their live performances, it seems to be really something for the eyes, too. Some really cool light show. Um, but if you're into to that kind of, uh, of scene, definitely check them out. Um, a four-piece band, you know, I, I like, again, hearing different stuff. And so does everyone else who works here at The Hookup on music. We don't just subject ourselves to one style. We may be talking about last week in our new music style. We talked about Noah Khan. This week, we're talking about agriculture. They sound like they may be going together, but agriculture is actually black metal and I like sharing different stuff. Um, just like this next band, Bar Italia. 
Okay. Um, EPs, a couple of EPs, uh, newest one, CDR from 2022. Um, another band that's just, again, putting on really, really good um, stage show, good live presence, um, going through their stuff. Um, definitely um, something that you're going to want to check out if you get an opportunity. Great, 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 great vibes. Um, again, elicits of more of a, a like indie rock. They got some some cool jamming. I like the vocal interstructures. I like when bands, um, different members, take over and sing, um, which both of these um, bands definitely have that in their in their style. Um, definitely something that I would suggest that you go and check out uh, both bands, Agriculture and Bar Italia. You can look a little bit deeper, okay? You can listen a little bit more. Agriculture just came up with their um, self-titled EP um, just this, this past year, okay? And you're going to want to check out deeper of that because a lot of it isn't just live. A lot of it's the studio, too. I've recently had some conversations with some people about kind of is – the studio lesser than live or is live really an indication of what a band is? I don't know. You know, you could always let us know how you feel about that and kind of um, fit into that genre. But again, a couple of bands, a couple of different bands, different sounding bands, new um, agriculture and bar Italia, check them out. Um, also, here we are. We're here about to spin you a, an album and talk about it. The album we're about to talk about is The Decemberist, The Crane Wife. I think it's a really, really good one. It sounds amazing on um, a great November um, day, especially Thanksgiving, sitting down and listening. Um, again, I'm a huge fan of, of albums that have a theme that run in and out. Um, the album itself is inspired by a Japanese folktale um, that centers on two song cycles. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The Crane Wife and the Island. Um, the latter was inspired by William Shakespeare's The Tempest. That's pretty interesting. And um, definitely the album in itself is very interesting. Just a lot of good songs all the way throughout, and which made it something that I deemed that we needed to talk about here on this Giving Thanks episode. Um, you want to give thanks. You want to, what's the word I'm looking for? rock you want to look in and you want to roll and this album definitely has all of that sure does thank you miles um we we like to add a little miles because it's cool um but definitely want to um check into a little bit more of the album um one of my favorite tunes from the album is a song called a perfect crime um definitely a, a, a slinky bass riff that I think you will um, enjoy. The agent's ploy finds a shirt by a band. Um, a band, a band, a band rock and a band rolling. Okay, it's their fourth album, and as we like to say a lot, I think this is a, a, an album that, uh, again, I think it's you know the band is moving in the right directions and growing. Um, the album cover was designed by uh, Carson Ellis, uh, lead singer Colin Malloy's wife. Um, she has created the artwork for each of the band's albums. Um, definitely something to, um, you know, check out. A Perfect Crime too. the song you've just heard, um, uh, is definitely, definitely, definitely um, awesome. Um I, I like I like all of the December's music. I like the way this album starts. I like the way Song Two's a twelve minute, just just a, 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 just a, just a tale, okay. And that that one is called the Island, where track one is the Crane Wife, and then as it goes along, you get down to like the end of the album, and you got different parts of the Crane Wife because it starts with Crane Wife Part Three. And then we're down at nine at Crying White Part One and Two. So it's cool. It, just the way it all kind of goes together and, and makes just for an, an, a very enjoyable listening experience. Um, I think I think the band itself 
is always just really been something that uh you know it it, it, it likens to be something that i think is, is super classic um you know um there's a lot of tongue-in-cheek references throughout the album which is i think what makes it again a, a memorable experience um definitely one i would say listen to um if you're into um some things with a lot of different sounds a little folky uh, there's some rocking um that that perfect crime is a good good track but uh overall i really 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 enjoy that um but folks we enjoy all the music that we talk about here and all the music that we share with you. Um, really, 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 really um, thank you again for joining in tonight. It is Thanksgiving week, and I do realize that we all have things that we are doing with our families. So even if you are able to scratch out just a couple minutes to listen to us, and it, 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 it really, really, really awesome, and, and we really appreciate that. Um, it, 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 it's a it's a thing when you when you are trying to create something and and what i've always tried to create is something not for me okay there have been endeavors i've been involved with in the past where some of my partners wanted to be you know uh, an i me mine um my perspective that's not here um even what you're hearing right now um about the music and the, the bands that we listen to i'm trying to engulf into a an, to a wide conversation we can talk about any band. We can talk about heavy metal if we wanted to for lots and lots of time, or we can talk about lots of different stuff, or we can have different people on. And that's really what we plan on doing going forward is just keeping it different, keeping it fresh. We have these new awesome little clips coming out. We also have little shorts, just, just something we really, really enjoy doing. Um, also enjoy doing is was, was for this episode, trying to, take a look inside and seeing are there different thanksgiving songs like are there songs that people just really um you know really uh know for thanksgiving a lot of different results really throughout a lot of different like is this really a thanksgiving song is it more of uh something maybe just aimed but uh let's take a look at some of these okay we got uh, someone. Someone stated on their list that uh, Louisa Armstrong, um, "What a Wonderful World," is a great, great song for Thanksgiving because, well, it's about being grateful. And honestly, I can't agree more. Um, again, all the music and people sharing it, and people making it, and, and people talking about it. It's it's definitely something that you you want to, and definitely having family and. And, and 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 having all and shared experiences with 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 those out there who maybe have have anything from children to animals to other family members um sharing musical experiences is great um we are family sister sledge is, is a second one because well you're spending time with your holiday you know so why not you know listen to a little sister sledge um some of these though uh johnny cash's thanksgiving prayer um very heartwarming um it makes you feel truly grateful about some of the people that you have in your life um you know you you have um just just crowded table by the highway woman you know um you know the, i said the highway woman it's the high woman um you know a good one a good one um you know this one is one that made me smile and laugh because these are the names that I think need to be a little bit more in some of our uh, music. Uh, Ray Charles and James Taylor doing sweet potato pie. Okay. We love our dishes. We love our side dishes at Thanksgiving. And who doesn't love a nice, hot, warm um, plate of sweet potato pie? And who doesn't like some Ray Charles um, sprinkled in with a little um, James uh, Taylor? Um it's uh this version is a little bit uh is cheerful um but uh the original wasn't quite as cheerful is is this one but definitely um the title makes it say hey you know this one might be a good one to have for thanksgiving um the jb's past the peas i'm not eating any peas on thanksgiving but uh the jb's if they're serving it i just may have a little bit um 
I might have a little bit more because the song actually is about maybe a family member who is hogging all the sides at the dinner table or other innuendos that mean taking things that and not leaving for others to have and enjoy. Um, Little Eve has got a song called Let's Turkey Trot. Um, great one from 62. I, I think that's that's some of the ones that you've never heard and you have to like look into, which was that one was definitely one I had not listened to before doing research for the show. But after doing research for the show, I decided that that was definitely one that they had to say it uh, out loud because, well, you're not going to hear that every other time. Um, another one by uh, Carrie Underwood. Don't listen to a whole lot of her, her music, but she's got one called Stretchy Pants. Okay. Um, Bing Crosby. I've got plenty to be thankful for. A um, lot, a lot of good stuff. Ray Davies from the Kinks even has one called Thanksgiving Day. Okay. Um, I don't know if Ray Davies is, is a huge fan of mashed potatoes, but singing about Thanksgiving Day and being the leader from the Kinks, you know, you, you may, you, you, I'll listen to you, Ray. You know, I'll listen to you. You've, you've told us about so many, so many awesome places on all those, um, you know, all those albums with all those intertwining storylines, all those great concepts. Um, uh, Fats Weller. Okay. All meat, and no potatoes. Um, you know, please um, check out that. All that meat and no potatoes. I think more, again, why aren't more titles like this being played for people out there and made? Um, you know, when you're out there making your dishes and you're making your sides and everything for, you know, today, and if you've already done that and you're heating them up even, you're going to have to reheat up your sides. Um, think back to some of these, these tunes. Um, Definitely, definitely interesting. Uh, American Pie, Don McLean. That song, okay. Good song, good song, good song. Not my favorite, but good song. Good song, good song. Um, Home by Edward Sharp and the Magnet Magnetic Zeros is a great track. You know, it, 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 it intermakes a feeling for the listener that uh, maybe going home is a good place. And, well, for the holidays, why not? Um, big star. Excellent, excellent rock jam. Um, great, great, great. Thank you, friends. Because that's today. That's what we're, I'm here for. To thank you for listening. Um, thank you for being a friend. Thank you for talking more than just music. We appreciate being more than just music too if you want to talk about anything that's why we are here a lot of people you know disappear off of the off of the um spectrum sometimes after you talk to them not us we are always here and always really ready and willing to talk um recently on the halloween episode we talked about vince Giraldi trio um his thanksgiving theme it's up there too with the uh, halloween um theme definitely worth um, your time. Um, Sly and the Family Stone talked about them recently. Thankful and thoughtful. Because we are thankful and thoughtful here at the hookup. Cannot say it enough. Um, a lot of people get upset, but uh, Dave Matthews Barron's got a song called Cornbread. It's actually not that bad. It's got a happy beat. Um, you know, I, I, these songs are just, just, just really, 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 really awesome. You know, I mean, I made this list, and some of them I can't even go through all of them because we'll be here until next Thanksgiving, which next Thanksgiving, well, we'll probably have to go through some more. Um, but Neil Young's Harvest Moon is definitely, or just Harvest, are great, great songs that it, it make you feel like you're going to have a big Thanksgiving dinner. Um, but, uh, you know, Neil Young, Harvest, Fall, Thanksgiving, you know, sign us up here. Um, got something special that is going to be coming down on the uh, little video front um, this week. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday. I've got a couple different things. Going to see what we're going to, how we're going to plan them and release them. But this is something that you're not going to want to miss out. It's a special teaming. i um, excited about that. Um, Jane, the techniques, apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Ooh, it is it is the season for pies. What is your favorite pie? Is it pumpkin? Is it apple? Is it uh, pecan? 
Is it banana cream? That was the one that was always related to us to go to Baker Square and pick up pick up that pie. You got to pick up that pie. And then we'd have the cool Baker Square tins. If you remember those, if you've ever eaten at a Baker Square. Um, Nat King Cole's Autumn Leaks. Been raking a lot of those. A good one to listen to. Uh, Stuffy Turkey by Thelinius Monk. I would say a good jazz interlude with all the guests. Play that really loud. The guests will either sit down and chill or get up and move. We are a fans of all of it. Um, <laughs> Cab Galloway, uh, Blues Brothers, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I got another track. I laugh because it's another great title. Everybody eats when they come to my house. Ooh, I like that. I like that shirt. Everybody eats when they come to my house. That means that everybody is going to eat and they're going to have a great meal. It's the same thing coming on this show. You want to come on here and you want to talk? We will let you eat. We will let you have all the goodies that you want. We will let you go up even for seconds before we go. That's how we do it here. Um, of course, uh, last night we had our first Thanksgiving meal the night before Thanksgiving. And my niece started playing the Thanksgiving song by Adam Sandler. Quite, quite, quite the classic. Quite, quite, quite some great um, mixtures there. Um, actually, the whole album, they're all going to laugh at you. It's got some really good, 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 great, great laughs on there. But, uh, you know, when I think of, of holiday classics, I think that is, is a great one. A great, a great in-dude classic. Um, you know, earlier we, we were talking... Um, about Decemberus, and we mentioned this man, Miles Davis. And I think he just honestly, he's another one who just honestly, he could be playing while you're cooking the whole entire meal. You know, I mean, what's better than listening to Bitches Brew and bitching up some great, 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 great cranberries or great, great, great homemade stuffing or as my main man, Magnificent Stan, has made some amazing, amazing White Castle stuffing. If you haven't gotten to that uh, recipe or made that yet, please, please, please do so and uh, share with us some pictures because that looks mighty, mighty, mighty tasty. And, um, well, we would appreciate it. Iron Maiden. We're thankful for Iron Maiden here. Why not? Okay, they're out on tour. They're going to be back next October here in town. Shall I see them? Shall we see them? Shall we maybe get a little closer in depth on Iron Maiden as we get close? I, I don't know. I think it's something that's always a good idea to talk about Iron Maiden. But like everything else here on the hookup, it's taken to a vote. And we, we love to vote and talk about, well, everything and anything. And Iron Maiden is one that we love to talk about. Um, toots in the mails, okay? I'm thankful for this time in college where I decided to um, order something off of Amazon for the very first time. This is true. It was a CD. It was the greatest hits of Toots in the Mails because I heard the song being played at somebody's house. And I said, you know what? I need some Toots. I need some Mails. And I uh, said, hey, you know what? I sent it and it came about... <laughs> It was hilarious. It came like three or four or five weeks later. And I still have that CD now. Still fresh. Still great. Um, a lot of good songs. Monkey Man, Pomps and Pride. Um, please check out some Toots and Madles. Um, a really good, a good, good, good flip main dish. They're like the ham to Bob Marley's turkey. Um, great, 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 great um, band. Um, Corrosion of Conformity. Thankful for the time that I saw them open up for Metallica at the Allstate Arena. I'm also happy for the time that I saw them at the Metro, right across the street from Wrigley Field in Chicago, where it was them and Machine Head. And Mike Piazza of the Mets was a, a booth over. Always think about that. Thankful for that. Thankful that they're still out there playing music. They were just in town recently. Thankful for Common. Thankful for this amazing man's body of work, his his records, his albums. Thankful for his acting style. Thankful for all musicians who decide to act and decide to say, "Hey, you know what? We want to act, and we're not, you know, we're 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 going to be acting, and we're we're always going to be acting." Because you know why? 
acting is what we like to do and playing music and releasing music. And I think Common is very good at that. Um, the hookup on music, every single time we record, every single time we post something, every single time you talk to us, are very, very thankful for Little Feet. Thankful for all the members of the band Middle, Middle Feet. Um, I can sit here and talk about each one individually per episode, which if we ever really in about 700 years ever get low on music, we may just break down just one one song, one member, and then just do stuff. No, I'm just kidding. We would never do that to you. But it does sound like an awesome spinoff show. Um, the Little Feet, though, is something that if you're not listening to, I think you got to get out there and you got to listen to them. Um, a good, a good, a good, a good flip band to some, maybe some of the other stuff that you're listening to. Um, you know, we here at the hookup on music will always continue to talk to you about all these awesome stuff because, you know, we like doing it. That's a, a good thing. Cause if we didn't like doing it, it wouldn't make for an enjoyable experience for you. Um, but but number one, it, it's more of just the ability to sit and be able to talk to you about just, just different musical styles, instrumentation, instruments. Um, just the other day, I was thinking about bass players. And then the, 20 hours later, I was thinking about drummers. And then two hours later, it was about guitar players and keyboard players, the sax players. Um, just now in the Macy's Day Parade, Chicago was playing. I was thinking about their whole career and all the members that unfortunately aren't around anymore who would maybe think about what about how how they are performing in the Macy's Day Parade or would they other band members perform in the Macy's Day Parade? You know, that's all up for uh, discussion or up for, for many, many different things. But what is not up for discussion is the passion that you guys have for music out there, the passion that you have to talk about it. The passion that you have to share it you know if you choose to be somebody who decides to keep it to yourself and not want to share it that's that's okay if you want to share it or want somebody to share it with that's why we're here we're kind of like a musical psychologist we're here to talk to a psychiatrist or whatever you it may be that you just want to just want to just let it out just want to talk about music and and you don't really know where to go you know that's why we're here not trying to um, be like, we know this or we know more of this or that or anything else like that. No egos here at the hookup on music. You know, as we go forward, we want to keep making this an experience that just grows with you, the listener, and with everyone else who loves to interact with us, our guests. Um, we have some huge, huge guests coming around the corner. You know, we have a new year. We're going to be going into our second year. I kind of like in the show as like a band. We start as kind of like the garage band vibe. And maybe we, we build one day into, you know, something bigger. That's why some of the production gets a little bit better. It's going to continue to get better um, because we don't strive to just sit and be something that is just sitting back and not wanting to share with you new music. That's why today talking about, you know, agriculture and bar Italia is something that we love to do. Um, I love just going through different kinds of musical genres, which we haven't done a lot of. That's why it's cool with the holidays coming up. You know we're going to be talking about Christmas music. If we've talked about um, Thanksgiving music on just this episode, we could stretch Christmas music into all the episodes up until Christmas. Not going to do that, but we could. We're going to have a lot of cool guests coming up around the bend. Um, so check it out. Um, you have new bands or new artists or topics or anything that you want to share or want us to talk about or share with us or not with us or anything, please. You know, that's why we are here together. Okay. I'm just the conductor here and everyone is allowed and can come on the train and I, you could even run the, you could run the train. I'm just going to have to stand over here because, you know, in case you don't know, and maybe you do, maybe I'll step away. I don't know, but I'm just so thankful that we get to do it together. So thankful that we get to talk about Miles Davis all the way to corrosion conformity and back around a common. And then also, you know, talk about all the other great, great, great things that, that, that go on around here. So please, 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 please keep sharing with us. Please keep talking with us. We thank you so much um, here at the Hookup on Music Podcast. We thank you for going to our amazing um, 
sadisticpenguinstudios.com and reading all the awesome articles. We appreciate all the cool interaction on the YouTube um, live channel as well as we have great episodes by all my awesome, awesome friends. Um, thank you, friends, for joining me. And we really can't wait till what we see and what's coming around the corner. So we will see you next week. And everyone, enjoy your turkey. Enjoy your stuffing. Enjoy your ham. Enjoy whatever you're doing. But please, just have a good time while you're enjoying it and listening to great music. Take care. <laughs>